Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to um, edit the appearance.2da to make droids have certain armor or how they look when you apply a certain armor. So let me show you an example because you guys all know how the normal T3 um, looks. But say you want them to look, I don't know, like this or whatever you want when you apply a certain armor plating. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do that. It's going to be very confusing since appearance.2da is really like, uh, it's annoying um, because there's so much in it. But anyway, so I won't use this exact skin as an example, but we're going to create our own as we go, or you guys can do whatever you want. So let's go ahead and start it off by opening up KOTOR tool. Uh, now the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the ERFs, texture packs, and then the TPA. Go to P, and you're going to find T3. We're doing T3 for this example. I mean, you could do this with HK, HK, or you could do it with Goto in Kotor 2. But again, I'm just showing this example for Kotor 1. So extract this file PT3M301. Save. And let's go ahead and open this up. Now you can name this. I um, you could do whatever you want with this texture, really. I mean, it's completely up to you guys. Say I want to make him, I don't know, uh, green. I don't know. A again, you guys can edit this. You can edit certain parts of him, um, like what I did in this photo, for example. And here are a couple others. There's like this one made them kind of Sith-like. Um, but yeah, there's there's just a lot. More Republic colors, you know, like that. Anyways. Um, or Zul's little pack that I made for him. Um, but yeah, so that's just up to you guys, whatever colors you want. And so let's go ahead and overwrite that. Or it doesn't matter. Anyways. So yeah, on to the next step. Alright, so once you got that, you can rename him, uh, this texture, to whatever you want. But for this example, I'm going to keep it simple and go with, say, 20. Okay? Good. Now, if you go into your override and you don't have an appearance.2da, go ahead. Uh, well, if you do have an appearance.2da, just drag that to your desktop or wherever. If you don't have it, um, you can go ahead and minimize this, that, and go to the BIFs and open up the 2DA and just um, take out the appearance.2DA. Anyways, we're going to go into the 2DA file editor, open up the appearance.2DA, and voila, here is, once it shows up, a ton of stuff. Now, it's going to look like really confusing, okay? Um, and if you're lucky, unlike me being on a Mac, for certain reasons, you can't copy and paste these rows. But for example, if you're on a PC, you could just copy row and then insert the row. But unfortunately, I cannot do that. Um, well, it doesn't work like that. So just go ahead and go down to the bottom and add on a row. See if I were to insert row, it doesn't work. So... Um, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and do 559, since that's that. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name it party underscore, underscore NPC T3M3. Um, and let's just go with green, or, you know, whatever you want. Now, again, like if you're lucky, all you had to do is copy and paste, and you don't have to make a certain few edits. So try and make yours like mine. But I'm going to have to do this the long way, sadly, so you guys have to go through that. But anyways, just try and name everything like what I do. 1.7, 5.4, scroll down a little bit, oops, might have been too much, yeah, 1.7. 5.4. Now you're going to name this texture as that. So P underscore T3. Oops, not 7. T3 M3 underscore 20. And model type, just go with F. Remember, just copy all this stuff. Um, let's go with uh, this. 
three, four, one, two, three, four. Model A, P, um, T3, M3. Actually, no, no, hold up. Let's just go with the asterisk right there. Asterisk. Make sure you do the same amount as I've shown. One, two, three, four. 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 See, guys, it takes forever just to make a custom line unless you're lucky and can copy and paste. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oops, that one was three. Um, if you guys just want to skip past me doing all this, I'll probably just put up an annotation of when to or uh, where to skip to. But it'd probably be better if you look at this just in case something goes wrong. Oops, not five. Um, and then for the NVAP texture, let's go default. Um, R. One, two, three, four. Han. For this, whatever this is. Oh, yeah. How fast he moves. Um, 50. 5.4. Point two five point three five oops gotta add that zero in there first zero um zero point three six zero point four eight one I'm not sure what this is I think it's just that no. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I'll come back to it. Zero. Twenty. One. One. Asterix. Oops, not five. One. Three. Asterix. Asterix. More asterisks. Um, I don't know what the plural pluralist asterisks is or just asterisks. <laughs> um, eight, since we're copying this T3 line. Eleven, one, thirty, ten, or fifteen, my bad. More asterisks. Now, for depending on the model, whether it's um, T3 or um, HK or Goto, some of these numbers are going to differ. So, again, just copying the line would be easier for all of you guys. But for me, it's not since I can't do it. Um, 0 0.5. Asterix. Oops. Asterix. Asterix, asterix, asterix. One more. Okay. All right, guys. And just to make sure that um, I got this right, um, which I did, I checked with a friend. This right here, the target height that I couldn't get before, it's just a lowercase l. It. I don't know why. It's. It's just like that. But anyway, so if you're doing this for HK, for example what you can do is just copy the HK line which is all the way up at the top and then just replace um, several things um, just make sure it looks like you know just yeah anyways so you change the texture name wherever that is anyways so yeah once you have that go ahead and save it make sure you backed it up first always back up um, your 2DAs especially so save as 2DA yes replace okay good good um, so now once you do that 
place these two textures into the override, but you're not done yet. What you have to do is go into Kotor, uh, Kotor tool. See, I, I always butcher that word. I don't know why. It's it's like a tongue tongue twister for me. Anyways, um, go to the biffs. Um, let's see, templates .biffs, and then the item, the blueprint item, and you're going to find an armor for a droid. It can be whatever. So, for example, let's see. Um, I gotta remember. Okay, droid plating. So let's go with the let's go with the medium plating or whatever. And you can see it all right here. And then you can what you can do is um, add in whatever stat you want. So say I want a defense bonus um, versus slashing two. You know you can just keep adding in stuff like that or an attribute bonus for. Uh, intelligence plus two you know anyways so once you do that you can name this whatever so we could go t3 t3's green armor you know or whatever and comment green armor or whatever uh, description you can change this to whatever this is t3's personal green armor I guess that doesn't matter uh, properties, blah, 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 change this to, let's go with G, um, no, T3 green, just to make it simple, T3 green, and model variation, I believe that we put that up to 20, oh, no, my bad, no, no, keep that at 3, my bad, just remembered, all right, um, not 30, 3, there we go. All right, so once you do that, go back to properties, click on here, and you're going to go to disguise. Now there's going to be all these disguises, and thankfully, since we edited the appearance.2da, look, there's a party um, NPC T3 M3, because that's what they named it in the game files, and that really annoys me, but it's just whatever. So go ahead and save that. Make sure you name the UTI the same thing as the template resref and tag, so t3 green.uti. And you can go ahead and hide Kotor tool, place that in there. Now you're going to launch Kotor, um, but I will be right back because I still have to launch it. So yeah, I'll be back once we're in game. Alright, so now once you're in game, just go to your party selection. Uh, I have to wait for my party because they are staying back here for some reason. I hate the party system in this game. But oh well. So equip or whatever T3. I'm just going to auto level him up. Then go give item T3 green. Whatever the UTI file is named. Switch to T3. And there's T3's green armor with the custom stats. And voila, look at that, green T3. Yeah, isn't that, uh, he's like Hulk or someone, I don't know. But anyways, so yeah, that's how you do it. Um, you can do this with any of your party members. You can make disguises for, say, if you want them to look like, I don't know, a different droid or whatever. You can go ahead and find the texture files in KOTOR tool. And you can just edit them from there and then add on to the appearance.2da. And yeah, so that's kind of all there is to it. Um, you can, you don't have to do this. You can just make it so that this is T3's armor all the time, which all you just do is name it 01, and you wouldn't have to worry about appearance at 2DA. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, go ahead and do this with whatever droid you want. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too confusing because it surely was for me, even though I've done it before. But yeah, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.